Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get unique device ID? Let me run this example, and we'll hit go, and we're gonna get this giant gobbledygook of a string. But for my platform, which is Windows, this is going to be my unique device ID. Let's go ahead and look at how it actually works behind the scenes for the code. If we pull up our code and we look at the generic platform, we can get back the code from the platform miscellaneous get hashed MAC address string. What this means is if this platform doesn't support a unique device ID, and I'll cover that in a second, it's going to return back a hashed version, or you can think of it as a, a scrambled version of the MAC address string. The MAC address string is the machine identification number usually on your network device. And they are, in theory, supposed to be unique. Just unique, simple as that. Now, if we go ahead and look through our code here, we can find that we actually have on the iOS platform, we have a unique device ID override, which means it's going to return back something different, not the hashed Mac version. Hack hashed Mac ID. And basically for this is iOS at some point in time implemented a unique device ID for um, ad tracking purposes. It's something that's not the hashed Mac address. It's something that's unique that's created in the iOS version. So as you can see here, if it implements it, it's one of the newer iOS versions that do. It's an identifier for a vendor. It's going to return that back. If not, it will default back to the hashed Mac address string. And if we go back, then we look, and I'm pretty sure it's only iOS. Yeah, it looks like iOS is the only one that returns back a different unique device ID. It looks like your other platforms, so your Windows, your Linux, your Android, your Macintosh, are going to return back something different. It's going to re not different. It's going to return back a um, the the Mac address. But again, it is an override. In the future, that unique device ID could come to the Android platform or the Macintosh platform or even the Windows um, the Windows platform that I can't remember the name of it for Windows 10 and Windows Phone and such. For now, though, there is a unique ID. Now you might be asking yourself, what would we use this for? Because in theory, it is supposed to be unique and difficult for the player to change you could use it as a basic identifier maybe for the player you could use this as a unique identifier for a multiplayer game for when the player comes back maybe you want to set this up as a unique identifier to identify the machine in multiplayer so when they start up a multiplayer game you can use the device id to identify the machine and then maybe the unique machine not machine name the unique um thing that of course i completely forgot give me a second here the platform username to identify the user. So anyways, it's got its uses. If you need a unique device ID that is supposed to be semi-unique uh, and non-changeable, you can use the get unique device ID and use that for tracking purposes, for uh, saving the customer's account, for ease of use, for retrieving information about the player, just, you know, for a nice ease of use. And that's it. There's our Git unique device ID node.